What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be remaking Toes by DaBaby featuring Lil Baby and Moneybag Yo, I think. Before I get started, the link's in the description of the full remake. I can't put it into this video because of copyright. Don't forget to follow me at my socials at WTF Kyle Beats, and now let's get into it. So I put a post on YouTube and Instagram this past week asking people to give me their best whistling impression of Toes by DaBaby. If you guys don't know, like there's a whistling sound throughout the whole song. And what I'm doing is I'm picking the best sample and I'm using it to remake the actual song. I got some really great submissions from people and I got some really bad submissions. So now let's take a look at one of those. This guy you see here sent me a lovely recording of him whistling. <laughs> as well as a large black man dancing and showing his so as you can see, I have some really talented subscribers and I really appreciate all the submissions that you guys gave me. But anyways, the actual person who submitted the best whistling impression is Roy.pdf. Go check out his Instagram. Thank you so much for submitting that. And to show you guys what he submitted, he submitted this whistling sample right here. So it's not perfect, but it's a pretty good job and we can edit it just a little bit. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this sample and I'm gonna go right here, right click, edit in pitch corrector, and I'm gonna bring up new tone, right? So what I'm gonna do with all these notes is I'm gonna take them, I'm gonna center them just a little bit and then make sure that this is on a B flat. And this is what we're gonna take and we're gonna press send a playlist right here. So what I did just now is I chopped it up just a little bit to be more on beat. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you're at 80 BPM and this is the whistle that we're gonna have without any effects on it. So if you can't tell, it's still not great. It sounds like he recorded it in the middle of a tornado. It's still a little bit out of tune. It doesn't sound like the song very much. So what I did was I threw on some reverb. I threw on two EQs that look just like this. I threw on Sound Goodizer and a little Love Filter. I'm gonna turn this down just a little bit as well. And this gives us our final whistle sample. Not too bad. Shout out to Roy.pdf. Next up for the song is a snare. I'm just grabbing this layup rim right here with no reverb on it. Says it right in the title as well. These are the notes that we're going to play right here. And this is just going to repeat throughout the verses most of the song. And I'm going to throw on some sausage fattener, of course, and then a little bit of reverb to make it sound better. Next up is the clap. Now, this is just going to play on two and four. I'm going to cut out this first clap and you'll see a little bit more why later. I'm grabbing a Luger slap clap, which is like a classic. You guys have seen me use it before. And then I'm grabbing this Lex clap. Add a little bit more texture to that beat. They're playing two and four. And then all I have is an EQ just to raise a little bit of the highs. Next up, I'm grabbing the hi-hat. I'm just gonna grab this hit one right here. And this is the pattern that we're gonna play. There's a few accent notes right here. I'll show you one of those. And I'm gonna throw on Stereo Shaper because if you can see right here, it's not even because it is hit one. It normally sounds like that. And then the EQ, just to get rid of some of those highs, make it sound more like the song. And this is the beat that we have so far without the whistle. Next, I'm throwing on an open hat. It's just gonna play on the and of one. This is what that sounds like. I don't have any effects on it, but what I did was I just turned up this out knob just a little bit to make it shorter with the out knob, without the out knob. Next up, we're going to throw in our bass. We're just using a regular 808 for this. And for the 808, I'm using this Count Me In 808. This is what that sounds like. I'm going to throw it into an envelope to make it shorter. So with the envelope, it's going to sound like this. A little more bouncy and it's actually going to stick to whatever notes i make it play now i have this tuned to a b flat and what we're going to be doing is playing c and b flat so if you're doing the math this is actually one note down from what you'd be normally playing and i'm going to throw on sausage fattener i'm going to throw on an eq two of the eqs that look pretty much the same and then a limiter just to make sure it doesn't clip so this is what we have so far including the whistle Last but not least, when the baby first starts rapping, there's actually going to be like a little cut in the beat, almost like a DJ record scratch. And what I'm doing for that is I'm going to my master track and I'm grabbing this gross beat. I'm throwing a basic 10, but I'm actually moving it to the left a little bit to look like this. And then I'm throwing on this beat gate, which is going to cut out the noise right here whenever it passes through. So you can see whenever it plays, it cuts. I only have gross beat on for the first two bars. The second this is over, it's going to stop. And then I cut out this whistle right here. And this is what's going to sound like with that transition. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you want to see the full remake, make sure to go to the link in the description, check out my other video. Leave a comment which song you guys want to see next. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.